Hi, right, welcome back everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in. So today we're going to do another video of how to cut an Allen and Roth blind. Uh, and we've already done one of these videos, but I'm going to add a few things like show you how to shorten the blind, uh, the raising an alarm, and also we're going to install the little latches on the bottom so that the blind doesn't move back and forth. Um, and hopefully this will address everybody's uh, questions on our previous install and video of how to install an Allen and Roth trim at home blind. So stick around and we'll get going. Okay so our blind is 38 and a half by 64. So let's measure our window. Window measures 34 and a quarter wide. We're going to cut it to 34. So 46 and 3 eighths long. All right, so we're going to take everything outside and cut it 34 inches long, wide. And then we will work on shortening the length from 64 to 46 and three eighths. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the blind is 38 and a half inches long, wide. So we gotta find the center of it. So 19 and a half and 19 and a half or 19 and a quarter is the center of the blind. So I marked the center of it. We need our blind to be 34 inches wide. And we are pushing the envelope on this. Box says, cuts down to 35 to th uh, inches to 39 inches. So does that mean we should have gotten a different size? Probably. Oops. But we, we got room here. Our mechanisms will be out of the way. So I found the center, so I marked it. So we want 17 inches on each side of the blind. So we're going from the center. We're gonna mark 17. And 17. Should give us two and an eighth. Two and an eighth to cut off each end. So now we got that figured out. We're going to make sure everything's nice and smooth there. Flush. Get it out of the box. Can you explain to those of us who don't have your skills what it is you're doing right now? Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm flushing up the, the, the end to where it's flush. Using my speed square to make sure everything's good. It's good there. Yeah, 
So we're gonna put the clamp just where it will clear. The saw blade. Get it nice and tight. come over here and do this side just as well nice and tight Mark everything. Okay, so we got it cut. We're gonna dry fit it, make sure everything fits in there. And it does. All the way down. I'm gonna set this out of the way. Now we're going to mount our brackets that hold it. I like to do it start out with them closed. That way you have the clearance set for the top. I bring them out flush. That way everything sets nice and flush with the fascia. All right, so let's grab our screws. Okay, so we're gonna install the end caps, end brackets that holds it up there. It comes with a couple uh, middle braces. That's for your bigger windows, so you don't have any sag here, but our windows are smaller, so we don't need this bracket, so you don't have to use it. You can use it if you still ch choose to, but we've found that you don't need to. So we're going to install these. And like I said, I'm, I like to run them flush. And so I run my finger, put it, close it, bring it up here. And we'll start with this one. Always make sure that your lock opens and closes. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so now we're gonna put the blind in the window. Lock it into place. Put 
push it down. There we have it fitted. Now we're going to shorten the length. So we need to figure out how many of these we got to take off. As you can see, we've got. Ten. I'm going to say probably eight of these need to come off. Okay, so we're going to do it this way. We're going to leave it hanging. We're going to take these stoppers off. They just pull out. There's one of them right there in my hand. So we take them out. If you're lucky, you can use your thumbnail or you may need to go get a special tool, screwdriver or whatnot. It's kind of working back and forth and they will all come out. Okay, so lower it all the way down after you were, before you take the plugs out or after. Inside the holes, you're gonna find these right here. You have to pull all these out. You may have to dig for them. Get them pulled out. Okay, after you decide on how many strings or how many slats you need to take off, each one of these have a string that come down to it for pulling and lifting. Do not let them go. When you make your cut, put that little washer back on there, a little stop washer. Doesn't matter where you're putting it at. Just put it on there for safekeeping. Because if not, you'll have fun restringing it. So I've tied the little stop wash washer back on there. I can let it go. Come back to the same one, to the next one. Fish it out of there. Repeat this step four more times. Scissors. You holding the string? Yep. Hold that. You can get rid of those. Hold that. Hold that string for dear life. In this case, I'm taking off nine. And that is my ninth one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. So yes, that is my ninth one. Get scared when you let go of that. Take your stop washer. And repeat it. This is just temporarily so that you can get things adjusted. There, we can safely let go, then remove your slats. Just cut off these extra ladders. Hopefully with sharper scissors. <laughs> yes, with, with sharper scissors. about three ladders this they call these ladders for that reason right there looks like a ladder so you want to leave about three of them on there so we've done that now we'll move these out of the way
stick your bottom rail back through your ladder. So now it's time to restring it. So what you want to do is you take there and tie your knot, making sure that you don't let go of this thing. Thread it through the hole. Hang on a second. And that get rid gets rid of any frayed parts so you can stick it through the hole better. So you need to repeat this process for each one, keeping in mind, don't let go of that string. Alright, so now you want to take your excess ladder and shove it back up in the hole. Take your plug. And push it back in there. And just repeat that process for all three. All the remaining three. Alright, so now you want to insert your little plug on both ends. I remember me to get a new camera crew. <laughs> So we're going to install the thing so we can shut the blind, open the blind, raise the blind, just push it up. I'm going to pull it down. Pull it down. Now we're going to install the, go cut the, the ballast fascia, whatever you want to call it. We're going to cut it to where it needs to be. And we'll wrap this job up. Okay, so I went and cut to fit 34. Now we're going to install these little clips to hold it on there. It's very important that you get them set right. Take them in. They have little lips on them. And it'll snap in there. Take the other one. Do the exact same thing. Take it and snap it in there. Take your blind out. And I hope now that we got this set where we need to get this set. Nope, I got something in the way right there. In the way big time. So, we're going to take it back out of there. 
You can't just slide it down? No. It bites into it. You can, but it's tough. So we want to be... Okay, so another successful install on blinds. Hopefully we have answered some of the questions from the previous video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't, please like the pet, our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and we'll see you guys on the next one.